It's a bit of a rainy, grey day in Switzerland and I'm going to shoot some B-roll with my smartphone. And the smartphone I'm going to use is actually a Poco F5 Pro that's just come out. The Poco is part of the Xiaomi range of phones, uh, so it has the same operating system as other Xiaomi's and uh, similar kind of cameras. So I'm going to go into the forest now and I'm going to shoot some B-roll with this smartphone. So for this B-roll, I'm not going to use any accessories. I'm just going to use whatever I can find in a forest to place my camera. You don't always need these extra accessories. For this shot, I wanted a low down shot, looking up the pathway as I walk up into the forest. So when I shoot B-roll with a smartphone, most of the time I switch it to 60 frames per second and 4K. And even though this is a mid-range device, it's actually capable of shooting 4K and 60 frames per second. In this shot, I followed the shape of the plant with the camera movement. So the advantage of shooting at 60 frames per second is that when I edit, I can slow it down to 30 frames per second and this creates a nice smoother motion for the B-roll. When the conditions are like this, where it's grey clouds, and the clouds act like a diffusion filter, the colours are much more muted, but at the same time, it's much easier on your camera's sensor. So in a way, it's like giving your camera a greater dynamic range. Because the light is diffused, you don't get such deep shadows, and you don't get such bright highlights. And so your camera doesn't have to work as hard. So it can be a really nice environment for photography and for videography. So right now, because it's spring and it's been raining quite a bit, the grass is very green, it's very luscious green. The leaves in the trees are also this beautiful, rich green color. And it's quite contrasty to the sort of brown gray of the bark of the trees. So if you're filming outdoors in this kind of conditions, you can think about that, make advantage of that. Listen to the sound of this forest, it's incredible. It's like a rainforest or something. I never feel more alive than when I'm in a forest and everything is so vibrant. So I've climbed up this hill so I can get this really spectacular view. It's actually quite hard to photograph or film a nice view, isn't it? I find that it looks amazing and then when you take a picture, it just looks a bit flat. But by using these combination of shots and the music and the sounds as well, it should all help to build this impression of a really spectacular view. I've got the shot where I'm sort of surveying the landscape with my head turning left to right and the camera going in the opposite direction. And now I'm gonna try and match that shot with a pan across the landscape. And normally I don't really like pan shots, but because it works with this shot, it's motivated by the previous shot. And now the next part of the story is to show you what I'm looking at. So let's try something. You see the drops just dangling from the leaves so precariously. This is gonna make a really beautiful shot. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a focus pull so that I can go from these beautiful drops of the vitality of life, which is water, and just the fragility of it. And then I'm going to do a focus pull from the drops of water into the distance of the view, the spectacular view. If you have a Android device, you've probably got pro mode. But if you've got an iPhone, you will need to use another app, for example, Filmic Pro. I have to be really careful. If I knock this tree, I'm going to lose these, these drops. And I want to get as close as I can. So I'm putting the focus as far as it can go, getting the camera as close as I can without disturbing these leaves. Okay, start recording. Make sure that those drops are really perfectly in focus. And now pull focus onto the background. So I'm gonna use these two trees that you see here. So they're quite close together. They're quite nice and solid and they're like gate posts. So with this shot, we're gonna push in slowly and then these two big trees either side create this depth to the image and as well give us this sense in story terms that we're entering something. So this would be a good shot to use somewhere near the beginning of your sequence. So as I move forward, I also tilt it up just slightly to look up into the trees and this makes the movement a bit more dynamic, a bit more interesting. So for the sake of the story of the video, I'm going to try and match that shot with a shot of me walking along and then looking up into the kind of majesty of the forest. 
So I'm actually going to get two shots for this. One is a close-up of my hand as I hold onto the tree. And the second shot is just a reverse shot of my face as I look up. So I want to do a low shot. So I'm going to try and build something with these branches to use as a kind of tripod or stand for the smartphone. Of course, the smartphone gets a bit muddy, but it's okay, you can clean it. Oh, that's no good. That is perfect. So now I thought it would be nice to add a nice sort of sideways tracking shot. This will just all be part of the movement. So imagine that we're taking people through the forest on a journey. So I'm going to go sideways and I'm going to use this part of the foliage as a foreground and this will give us depth through the forest. So normally you might just go forward like this, but quite often there's no depth in that shot. If you go sideways and have some foliage in the foreground, then the shot is going to look much more three-dimensional, more dynamic. So, let's try this. Still 60 frames per second. Try and go as smooth as possible. It's on auto. I'm gonna lock the focus on the sort of middle ground. Okay. because I don't want the focus to be jumping backwards and forwards. So I'm going to do another one of those shots, but this time I'm going to use the trees. I've got these big trees in the foreground and I've got lots of other trees in the background. So when I do this sideways shot, it's going to have again that same kind of depth. And to make it match with the shot of the leaves, I'm going to go in the same direction, so it's left to right. So again, I want to go left to right and then fade from the left to right tracking shot of the leaves to the trees. So let's get the shot. So I think we will lock focus on this tree and so for this shot it's just going to be a static medium shot of me walking through the trees and I found a couple of branches where I could just rest the smartphone so to end my little story what I want to do is to shoot myself walking out of the sort of darkness of the forest that we're in now into this bright area over here. So I'm actually going to set the Poco F5 Pro to Pro mode so that I can control the exposure. For this shot I actually want to blow out the highlights. I want myself to disappear into this kind of brightness and that will be a way to end the story like I've now left the forest. So I'm just going to prop the phone against this little tree and film the other side of here as you can see on the edge of the forest where there's a little road but when i use the iphone which is what this shot is you can see that the dynamic tone mapping is actually evening out the exposure and i don't want that normally we don't want the bright areas to be burned out but for this i actually do for creative reasons because it's going to be telling the story of me leaving the forest so i'm going to use pro mode and i'm going to blow out those highlights prop it against the tree and let's see what it looks like Okay, so I'm going to head back, edit all those shots together with some music, color grading and some sound effects.
So what do you think? There's a couple of shots that I would like to change, I think. They didn't quite come out as perfectly as I imagined. But I'll talk about that and how I went about editing, grading, and sound designing this video in a special extra lesson for members on Patreon. As well, of course, you can still take part in the nine day course that takes you from beginner to more advanced and all the other stuff that we have there on Patreon for members. Apart from that, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video that I see you in. Happy filming.